Hello my soccer universe. After yesterday's very spontaneous <laughs> Serie A reaction vi video where I still haven't seen many highlights because I was focusing on this one. We're looking now at Western Europe and especially a full league and a full league around. Teeny bit of Portugal in there uh, as well. Uh, the headlines, yeah, Atletico Madrid gets a big win as we will see over Real Sociedad, a uh, game maybe not as great, but um, the win was kind of an uh, important one for them to keep the title hopes up. Um, Barcelona also gets an away win for a change uh, with Messi assisting uh, at least one goal, scoring another, I think he should get like in hockey and secondary assist on the third goal as well, looking good and now surpassing Pelé with most uh, goals scored for a single club, which is a record I don't honestly pay much attention to. Real Madrid get a Real Madrid-like win and I keep continuing saying they look like the best team in the league. In France we have the three-way race up top, continues with all of them bagging wins, some having a little bit more trouble than others. and. Let's start with the review of this round. Um, I actually made everything possible to watch Valencia against Sevilla. Uh, I was working at the same time, so you know, I had it on uh, the second screen. Got a little bit, but I have to, have to say, it was a rather cagey affair, and Sevilla games as of late tend to be. Uh, and Valencia also not having too many chances overall. I thought that overall, I got the idea that um, Sevilla was the better team, uh, having uh, more of the game, definitely having more shots on target, though Valencia I see is a little bit more, but had a lot lot of possession, but I always like a little bit of punch for Sevilla. And yeah, the game seemed to go to the logical conclusion, nil-nil, but uh, Sevilla scores, I think, more than half of the goals after the 80th minute, and exactly, the got over the 80th and um, Suso takes a shot where the goalkeeper uh, completely botches, I mean, he, he, the, the, he takes a shot, uh, he goes up and the ball goes here and then in the in, in, internet. You gotta save this one and so Sevilla gets an uh, important win. Um, we have then Real Sociedad Atletico Madrid, um, also a little bit the story in many ways, I mean, first of all, it was a really nice jersey matchup. With David Silva back, I, th I think there was one big chance for uh, La Real uh, in the first half where he was involved, but I find uh, Sociedad rather toothless and uh, Atletico Madrid just doing the necessary stuff that they have to do, not much more. Um, and after the half, I, I really thought this is another one ahead of a nil-nil, uh, at least at the half it was uh, the just result. Uh, Carrasco free kick hits Hermoso's head in the 448, it's 1 0 Atletico, and uh, Sociedad cannot find a way back. And then, um, nice attack and move uh, shot from, from, from this. I mean, Suarez was involved as well there, uh, and Llorente 74th uh, puts the game to rest. I think it's all the same. What I'm really curious about, we also got yesterday a huge news for uh, Atletico Madrid, but not of the good type. The English FA suspended Kieran Trippier for 10 weeks because he told a friend that he's joining probably Atletico and this friend went out to bed and now he is implicated. If that is really the case, I find it's a rather ridiculous ruling and yeah, uh, that could have an impact on Atletico as well because on uh, Trippier's side they don't have many players there. Uh, Barcelona, as I said, uh, while the lead was now not the opposition that will give Barcelona a lot, a lot of trouble, but you also have to say that Messi actually played one of his better games this season and there were not too many. I mean, this was almost up there with a normal Messi game where a really nice cross into box that Longley can convert in the 21st minute. Uh, then he is involved of playing the ball out, you know, really quarterbacking the whole thing. Uh, out to Dest who then cuts it um, towards the goal mouth and uh, Breathwaite in the 28th makes it tunnel and that basically was the game. Uh, Valladolid also rather toothless and then he makes his 644th goal for Barcelona. Everyone's talking about it, blah blah blah. I think it's more important, I should have said that at the Atletico game, that uh, Jan Oberg has 150 clean sheets for Atletico Madrid already. 
That's amazing. In less than uh, in less than two hundred games, I think some sounds like it, and, and uh, Simeone got his third hundredth win. That I think is more important than the six hundred forty-four goals for a single club because again, uh, Messi has played so long that I I think as Pelé's record is still probably a better one for Santos. But hey, uh, we celebrate totals. We love to do it. Anyway, Messi had a great game. Barcelona gets the win. Still. Um, my daughters love the jersey manager there. I still cannot get on board with this Barcelona outfit, and that's why I put up the crazy color up there as well. Uh, Villarreal against Bilbao was noteworthy in that Villarreal got a penalty at first uh, that was then taken away. Then uh, I think it was um, uh, what, uh, what, what's um, Iñaki Williams who got the lead for Atletico Bilbao, but late Villarreal hits the post and then uh, from an, uh, at the resulting throw throw into then score the equalizer one one a rather points dropped i have the feeling for bilbao um getafe takes uh, also a lead in the 70th 7th minute really nice shot by uh, damian suarez um but then a penalty scheme for celta and iago aspas 10 minutes later makes it 1-1 which is the final result uh, Real Madrid had some trouble at first, um, Granada probably should have scored in the first minute or second minute already, uh, but then the longer the game went on, the more Real took control of the game without being super convincing. Casemiro heads it in after Asensio assist and then uh, stoppage time, Bonzema makes it 2-0 and again Real Madrid a month on from being in a veritable crisis, looking now re really good, seemingly uh Zidane is now less rotating and just doing bits and pieces with his work and uh, you know if you have this midfield that they have and you play this a kind of aggressive front style um you will make points and you will win and they they're just too talented to not be considered uh, among the favorites for now Alaves uh, wins against Eva and uh, Betis against Cardiff uh, rounds out this round. So with all that we have now Real Madrid level of points again with Atletico, but Atletico two points less. You know where I'll go there, but let's uh, just, just just look at standing. I mean Barcelona now is settled in at the fifth spot, uh, ready to pounce because also games less than uh, Villarreal and Real Sociedad. So without that they might already be in third spot and similar goes for Sevilla. So uh, slowly, slowly, slowly the big guys are going top. But let's see if we adjust for those games. So we just take the points and goals uh, divided by uh, the games played. And if we do that Atletico has a sizable lead over uh, over Real Madrid at, at the moment and with that big win over Real Sociedad, which was a trap game for, for them, they actually have a substantial chance, I think it's almost the highest they've been given this season of winning the title. It is a two-way race. I don't count much on Barcelona there and Sevilla and Villarreal will also not get in a note how Sevilla is suddenly in third spot and Real Sociedad is dropping out of the top uh, there and Barcelona is right there with Villarreal and Villarreal is a team that they sort of own. I also find it kind of remarkable that all the top six teams and only the top six teams have a positive goal difference and look at Atletico Madrid's uh, especially the defensive record is impeccable absolutely impeccable and that may go a long way deciding the uh, La Liga um, the next round is played just before uh, the New Year's, over three days. We have Sevilla Villarreal, that's a, a pretty uh, interesting one there. Uh, Atletico Madrid against Getafe, not an easy one. Uh, you know I'd say the nastiest team are playing against each other. And just on um, uh, last day of the year, we get the Basque Derby between Bilbao and Real Sociedad, which is the standout tie in there. In France, we also had a full round yesterday. A uh, remarkable result is Angers beating uh, Marseille. Marseille, really. Uh, and I have to make a, vi a video of my um, predictions within this channel and then suddenly the team's going all the way. I Let's say I had this uh, video 
I said uh, has Inter forgotten to win. Now they've won seven in a row. Uh, I said Marseille is the sleeper team because they are. If you're just on top, since then Marseille going downhill and so on and so on. I think I announced it once. Is Sevilla for real? No. <laughs> so yeah, Marseille losing to Angers. Um, Lyon against Nantes. Uh, the goal by Toko Akame was really nicely parried via Memphis. Um, Pulling it in and across the goal mouth, then uh, a pass to Tok Tok can be very, very easy. Um, the Cadevere goal was nicely held by Lucas Paqueta, who gets then also the third one. Paqueta, after his Milan move, quite happy at Lyon. So, um, sounding, uh, I'm happy if if players that come from Milan are doing well elsewhere. I, I'm, I'm seriously happy about that. And I always thought Pak Pak Pakita had a great half season under Gattuso and then they just couldn't find a good spot for him. So I'm happy that he meanwhile moved on. Uh, Monaco Santa Tien, a 2-2 draw, um, but the biggest game was probably between Montpellier and Lille, where Timothy Weah gives Lille the lead in 23rd, but um, Laborde uh, can E equalized. I think then there was a penalty already uh, given for Montpellier that there, there, there was not taken off before that. Um, Lil gets a penalty that Ikone converts, uh, but uh, the lower two minutes later with a wonderful bicycle kick uh, equalizes, and then very late a uh, Turkish um, combination between Yaziki and Yilmaz give Lil a win so they can stay up there because also PSG gets a win much messier than the scoreline suggests. Um, Pombele in the 18th gets the goal. I mean, yes, PSG was the was a uh, but it was not a great performance by then. And uh, the second goal there, Diallo, uh, Strasbourg attacker at his own box, stumbles with the ball and puts the ball to the Di Maria, who then can cross it over to Mbappe, make it 2 0 and gay. And Moise can late, late on make the score a lot more comfortable than the game actually was. Uh, which means we have still the three-way race up on top. We have three teams within a point. But now, due to the goal difference, uh, Lyon takes over because they had now the plus three and Lille only got a plus one. So that's why Lyon takes over. Uh, PSG is hanging in there as well. We have Rennes moving up again. They were on the down. Now they're on the up again. And Marseille is on the down. Uh, towards the bottom, um, yeah, uh, we have also a new last place team with Nîmes and they look now pretty much set on being relegated. I want to adjust this table because we have Marseille in there. Will Marseille move up a little bit? Yes, they move up one spot, so but nothing's guaranteed. But two games in hand, uh, that might give them a little bit. But with those six points, yeah, they would still be right up there. They would be one point behind PSG, so... Maybe we have a four-way race. Maybe we have a four-way race. The most exciting news on my part for that is, of course, that I will get a fourth league on team very, very soon. I hope before Christmas so I can broaden the spectrum of jerseys here as well. We uh, have the next round is in France is played after uh, the new year already on, on uh, 6th of January. So the French players get a good rest in uh, I think Marseille Montpellier is the one that I'm looking for. Um, Saint Etienne PSG is kind of, you know, 10 against 9 titles, but Saint Etienne is not too good. Uh, Lyon plays against Lens and Lille against Angers. Uh, might also be a trap game. And uh, we don't know, you know, the transfer period is opening. I hear uh, that Depay, Memphis Depay, uh, has agreed on terms with Barcelona, but Barcelona needs to shift a few players. So. I am a little bit afraid that Lille and Lyon might not keep their teams together and then the whole thing fizzles out again. I hope they, at least for until the end of the season, just get it uh, through and then you guys can move on. Um, in Portugal, I owe you the 3-0 win of Braga against Rio Ave. Uh, kind of an uh, imperious uh, scoreline, which means that Braga overtakes um, uh, Guimaraes again and he sits now in fourth spot uh, with a slight chance for champ Champions League. But, you know, it was not uh, big implications there. However, we have the next round also, which is just before the new year, like in Spain. Um, I don't think there's a huge matchup there again with Sporting playing by Be 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 um Boavista Braga sounds interesting, Benfica Portimonense, and then yeah, Guimaraes against Porto is kind of a local thing 
uh, might be. I'm not sure if I can, can I, I barely can watch any por por Portuguese stuff. Uh, it's mostly Benfica Porto uh, and sport sporting uh, where I can see a little bit. So yeah, that was it uh, from Western Europe. Feliz Navidad, enjoy your Noel to all of you. I will take a short Christmas break, but you will get a few videos there um, as well. But I will not be recording uh, tomorrow and probably on um, the 26th. But I have videos prepared for you. In any case, drop a line below if you want to add something to the games that I've been talking about. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more uh, like videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists uh, that you might give interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my uh, channel to give you all the updates, all the things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, have a great day.